September 28, 2022 12 23 p.m. Hurricane Ian could make landfall in Florida on Wednesday as a devastating and incredibly rare Category 5 hurricane. Category 5 hurricanes are one of the strongest forces Mother Nature can throw at coastal residents. Only four in this category have struck the United States, with Ian in line to be the fifth. A Category 5 hurricane can reach up to 157 miles per hour, causing catastrophic damage, according to the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. After striking land, the aftermath is likely to be widespread, causing a high percentage of destroyed homes and power outages that can last from weeks to months. Currently, Hurricane Ian is packing winds at 155 miles per hour, just shy of the Category 5 distinction. Any higher, and Hurricane Ian will join the four other Category 5 hurricanes that have made contact with the U.S. mainland, Labor Day, 1935, Camille, 1969, Andrew, 1992, and Michael, 2018. Hurricane Ian updates, live coverage as potentially deadly storm could become Category 5 This goes east geocolor satellite image taken September 28 and provided by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, shows Hurricane Ian over the Gulf of Mexico. NOAA via AP 1935, Labor Day Hurricane A Labor Day Hurricane is the strongest hurricane to hit America, with its winds reaching close to 185 miles per hour, according to an analysis from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. During its rampage, the Labor Day Hurricane caused approximately $6 million in damage and killed an estimated 600 people. Most of the damage occurred in Florida, particularly the Florida Keys. The storm also crossed into Georgia, North, and South Carolina, and Virginia. The hurricane's aftermath spurned some controversy over the Weather Bureau's hurricane response and mishandling of the storm evacuations. Approximately 260 World War I veterans were working on a section of the Overseas Highway for a Federal Relief Project, according to the Library of Congress. On the day of the storm, officials sent a train to evacuate the men but it failed to reach the camps located on Lower Matacumbe Key due to high winds blowing it off the tracks, and the veterans were killed during the storm. To prevent this in the future, the Weather Bureau established additional monitoring stations throughout southern Florida and took steps to improve disaster preparedness in vulnerable coastal areas. 1969, Hurricane Camille The National Weather Service marks Hurricane Camille as the second strongest who However, scientists analyzes peg the winds to have reached approximately 175 miles per hour. The storm hit Mississippi counties the hardest, followed by the Alabama coast and Mobile metro area, 